Good evening, mga mahal, my fellow gods, beloved. The sun is going to set, and uh, it's a lovely evening. Hallelujah. We praise you, Lord, and we glorify you, O oh God. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful time for me to be able to read God's word here in this cozy room with my titties. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, we bless you, Lord, and we glorify you, O oh God. You are worthy of glory and honor and praise, Father. Thank you, Lord, that you never leave us nor forsake us, O oh God. And in you, O oh Father, nothing is impossible. You can make all things possible, Jesus. Hallelujah. God, thank you. Yes, Father God, you are the first and the last, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. Hallelujah. He was the first. Oh, yes. He was the last. Hallelujah. He was dead, but he came to life. Yes, Father. You are alive forevermore. Hallelujah. And you are with us right now at this moment. <laughs> he knows our works. Yes, Lord, you know our works. Let's be faithful. Oh, yes. He knows our poverty we should endure. Yes, Lord, you know everything. <laughs> we have to endure. He knows our tribulation we should not fear. For no servant is greater than his master. Yes, indeed, Lord. No servant is greater than his master. He who has an ear... Let him hear, hallelujah. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. He who overcome receive eternal life, yes indeed Lord. And he who is faithful receive the crown of life, yes Father. As you are faithful to you, O oh God, Lord, yes, we will receive the crown of life, the crown of rejoicing, the incorruptible crown, the crown of glory. Hallelujah. Oh, we magnify you, Lord. We glorify you, O oh God. You are the owner of the universe and earth and all that is in it, Lord. Hallelujah. You own us. <laughs> we are your children for those who receive you as personal lord and savior and and new creation in christ we are your children we are so blessed lord imagine god himself our father oh god hallelujah thank you lord oh we praise you lord we glorify you oh god in the mighty name of jesus the name above all names. Father God, I pray for these houses, Lord, that I'm looking right now, right at the opposite, <laughs> with the cross there, Lord. Cover them with your precious blood that all the household in there may come to know you and receive you as the personal Lord and Savior. Father God, these houses, the household, the people in there, Lord, and so as that side, Lord, hallelujah. Father God, bless them, O God. And I pray that today, Sunday, <laughs> July the 3rd, I pray that, Lord, the Holy Spirit is unlimited. I pray, Father, that people will come to know you and receive you as the presence of the Lord and Savior, as the word of God is being preached around the world. Because today, this time, right now, is the salvation of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Father God, thank you. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord, for the cross, the mighty cross. Hallelujah. Thank you for the cross, the mighty cross. 
that God himself would die for such as us. And every day we are changed into your image more and more. Yes, Lord, into your image. Yes, by the cross, we are truly being transformed. We are so amazed. And we give you praise. Yes, Lord, we give you praise. That you will take us for such a cause. We are so amazed and we give you praise by the power of the cross. By the power of the cross. Thank you, Father. We praise the Lord and we glorify you, O God. You are worthy of glory and honor and praise, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus the name above all names. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Come, mga mahal. Let's continue on reading God's word. Now, <laughs> Father God, we acknowledge your presence this lovely evening. Precious Holy Spirit, the greatest power in the world, help us, teach us into all things that as we read your word, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, the name above all names, who love us so very much. As we read your word, Lord, help us to understand, O oh Father. Give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you, O oh Father, as we read your word. In Jesus' mighty name, the name above all names we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. God, get us on And before that, Lord, I pray, O oh God, Lord, that we want to receive you, Lord, as our personal Lord and Savior. Yesterday, we read in the book of Ezekiel, there was a hope for the exiled of Israel. And uh, right now, that you are true to your promises, O oh Father God, that even right now, Lord, Israel now is one nation. Hallelujah. Last time, through the prophet Ezekiel, you have said, Lord, that therefore tell the exiles of Israel, this is what the sovereign Lord says, although I have scattered you in the countries of the world, I will be a sanctuary to you during your time in exile. I, the sovereign Lord, the sovereign Lord will gather you back from the nations where you have been scattered, and I will give you the land of Israel once again. And so it is so true, Lord, you are true to your promise, and Lord, you are the God, the mighty name of Jesus, so it's true to your promise, and you are our Savior. And uh, Lord, as we come to you, Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for dying on the cross for our sins, and we repent of our sins. Open our heart, Lord, to receive you as our personal Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord, for, giving, for the forgiveness of our sins and giving us eternal life. Make us the kind of person you want us to be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. Indeed, Father God, because, Lord, it says here that the Lord is saying that I am knocking at the door of your hearts, and anyone who hears my voice, who listens to the word of God, who hears the voice of the Lord, and opens the door, I will come into him. If you open the door of our hearts and receive him as a personal Lord and Savior, then he will come into us. Amen. Amen. And uh, as we receive him, but as many as received him, to him, he give, he, he give the, uh, to him, sorry, but as many as received him, to them, he give the right to become children of God. Amen. Hallelujah. And for those who are who received, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, we are now in Christ because we receive the Lord Jesus. If anyone is in Christ, he is now a new creation. All things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new. Amen. Thank you, Father. It is in Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, we are now new creation in Christ. Amen.
Father God, as we partake the bread and the cup, Lord, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We remember you. We do this in remembrance of you, Father, of what you did on the cross for us. Thank you, Lord, for the forgiveness of our sins. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this cup of the new covenant, for the forgiveness of our sins, Lord. Hallelujah. And for our protection also, Lord. We are protected from any disease and sickness, from COVID, Lord, from dengue, from Omicron, whatever it is that is happening around the world that is not of you, Lord. We are protected. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you for your precious blood. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. It says here that July the 2nd. Today is July the 3rd. Yesterday we didn't read this. Now let's read. It says here that July. Uh, this the, the 2nd. July the 2nd. It says here. For anyone. For anything. Worth having. One must pay the price. And the price is always work. Patience. Love. Self-sacrifice. No paper currency no promises to pay but the gold of real service and i must also add in real love as well <laughs> amen hallelujah yes lord love amen thank you father god for your love us with an everlasting love amen hallelujah we love you jesus and also maybe we should read this hallelujah before you pursue on reading book of Ezekiel uh, let's read this we always read Psalm 91 I think let's read another another book hallelujah thank you father oh sorry there's another chapter let's read the chapter 90 the eternity of God and man's frailty prayer of Moses the man of God this is a prayer of Moses Moses prayed says the man of faith hallelujah come let's read father God when we read this one help us to understand give us Lord the Holy Spirit teach us and guide us and reveal to us what you want to teach, teach us from this reading Lord you have been our dwelling place in all generations before the mountains were brought forth or ever you had formed the earth and the world even from everlasting to everlasting you are God you turn man to destruction and say return O children of men for a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday when it is past and like a watch in the night you carry them away like a flood Mm, indeed. Hallelujah. Let's carry on reading. Uh, they are like a sleep in the morning. They are like grass which grows up. In the morning, it flourishes and grows up. In the evening, it is cut down by withers and withers. Mm. Yes, that's our life, something like that. For we have been consumed by your anger, and by your wrath we are terrified. You have set our iniquities before you, our secret sins in the light of your countenance. For all our days have passed away in your wrath. We finished our years like a sigh. The days of our lives are seventy years, and if by reason of strength they are eighty years, yet their, bo their boast is only labor and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and we fly away. Who knows the power of your anger? For as the fear of you is, so is your wrath. Teach us to number our days, Lord, yes, amen, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long, and have compassion on your servants. O satisfy us, satisfy us early with your mercy, 
and that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad according to the days in which you have afflicted us, the years in which we have seen evil. Let your work appear to your servants, and your glory to their children. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us. Yes, Lord, the beauty of the Lord of God be upon us, our God be upon us, Lord. And establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Amen and amen. Thank you, Father. And also, Lord, in Psalm 91, which we always read every day. Father God, help us also to teach the number of our days, Lord, because here we are only temporary enough. Lord, as we receive you as our personal Lord and Savior, then we will have everlasting life. And that's the most important. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, yes, cover us with your precious blood, Lord. Yes, Jesus, and protect us and cover us, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And thank you, Father, and we praise you. For your love and faithfulness, Lord, it is good to give thanks unto the Lord, for you are God. Amen. Oh, yes. Father, God, thank you. We praise the Lord. We glorify your Father. Help us, Lord, to seek you first. Hallelujah. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things are added unto you. Amen. You already have given us so many things, Lord. You already given us your life also. And if we seek you first. Many things more will be added unto us. Good things, Lord. Because good things all comes from above. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Oh, we praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, God. Come, mga mahal. Let's carry on reading now God's word in the book of Ezekiel chapter 12. Now we will be pursuing on verse 21 because yesterday we read 12 until uh, the verse, uh, yeah, until the verse 20 of chapter 12. Now we will be continue on reading chapter 21. Hallelujah. This is Holy Spirit, our teacher and who is with us right now. Teach us as we read. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Father. A new proverb for Israel. Again, a message came to me from the Lord, Son of Man. You've heard the proverbs that quotes in Israel. Time passes and prophecies coming to nothing. Tell the people this is what the sovereign Lord says. I will put an end to this proverb and you will soon stop quoting it. Now give them this new proverb to replace the old one. The time has come for every prophecy to be fulfilled indeed amen it's true every prophecy to be fulfilled you even fulfilled now the nation of israel they scattered and now they are in one nation you fulfilled already lord now in our in our time in my time hallelujah you already fulfilled it now thank you father your words are so true there will be no more false visions and flattering predictions in israel for I am the Lord. If I say it, it will happen. Amen. There will be no more delays. You rebels of Israel, I will fulfill my treat of destruction in your own lifetime. I, the sovereign Lord, have spoken. Then this message came to me from the Lord, son of man. The people of Israel are saying, he is talking about the distant future. His visions won't come true for a long, long time. Mm-hmm. Therefore, tell them, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. No more delay. I will now do everything I have threatened. I, the Sovereign Lord, have spoken. Let's continue on reading chapter 3, 13. Judgment against false prophets. Then this message came to me for the Lord, from the Lord, son of man. Prophecy against the false prophets of Israel who are inventing their own prophecies. Say to them, listen to the word of the Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. What sorrow awaits the false prophets who are following their own imaginations and have seen nothing at all? O people of Israel, these prophets of yours are like jackals digging in ruins. They have done nothing to repair the bricks and the walls around the nation. They have not helped it to stand firm and battle on the day of the Lord. Instead, they have told lies, made false predictions. They say, 
This message is from the Lord, even though the Lord never sent them. And yet, they expect Him to fulfill their prophecies. Can your visions be anything but, sorry, but false? If you claim this message is from the Lord, when I have not even spoken to them, when I have not even spoken, spoken to them, therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord says, because you, because what you say is false and your visions are a lie, I will stand against you, says the Sovereign Lord. I will raise my fist against all the prophets who see false visions and make lying predictions, and they will be ba banished from the community of Israel. I will blot their names from Israel's records, record books, and they will never again set foot in their own land. Then you will know that I am the Sovereign Lord. This will happen. This, this will happen because this evil prophecy deceived my people by saying all is peaceful when there is no peace at all. It's as, it's as if the people have built a flimsy wall and these prophets are trying to reinforce it by covering it with whitewash. Tell these whitewashers that the wall will soon fall down. A heavy rainstorm will undermine it. Great hailstones and mighty winds will knock it down. And when the walls fall, the people will cry out, What happened to your whitewash? Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord says, I will sweep away your whitewashed wall with a storm of indignation. With a great flood of anger and with hailstone of fury, I will break down your wall right to its foundation. And when it falls, it will crush you. Then you will know that I am the Lord. At last, my anger against the wall and those who covered it with whitewash will be satisfied. Then I will say to you, the wall and those who whitewashed it are, are both gone. They, will, they were lying prophets who claimed peace would come to Jerusalem when there was no peace. I, the sovereign Lord, have spoken father god thank you lord for your word help us to understand more lord as we reflect and read again give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation lord reveal to us hallelujah thank you father and indeed yes false prophets will never stand but the true living god's words will in jesus mighty name thank you father god we pray amen thank you mga mahal for reading god's love letter with me May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And always remember that Jesus loves you. Have a good night's sleep tonight. And always remember that God gives his beloved a good sleep. Goodbye. God bless and take care. Let's read again tomorrow. Bye.